Nitrocell Integrated E-Commerce presents Configuring RMS for Web Store Integration In addition to product information, the Nitrocell integration also extracts information about the fundamentals of your store, such as its address and default currency. This tutorial will demonstrate the steps required to prepare RMS for use with the web store. Please note, RMS headquarters stores must first create tenders, currencies, and shipping carriers in the HQ Manager and run worksheets to deliver the changes to Store Manager. Be sure to confirm these changes are received by your order processing store. First, open Manager. Select File, then Configuration. The default tab is your basic store information. Inspect the name of your store. The way your name appears here is exactly how it will display online. If it contains all capitals or contains abbreviations, you may want to change it. Next, verify that the address information is correct and in compliance with postal or courier services worldwide, as this detailed information will be used for your shipping and tax configurations. Please note that state codes require the two-character abbreviations, and countries, three-character abbreviations. Lastly, confirm that the phone number and email address are correct and acceptable for use by your customers. The phone number will automatically display in the Contact Us page, while the email address will be used to receive the customer inquiries made via the form on the Contact Us page. Also, the email address will be used for all web store generated emails, such as order confirmations and back in stock notifications. Once you've confirmed your store information is correct, select OK. The next phase of configurations deals with currency and tender. Select Database, then Currencies. If your currency already exists, you're all set. If there is no currency listed, select New. Enter your default currency name and its code, then select OK. For example, US Dollars, code USD. Select OK. Now select Database, then Tender Types. If you do not have a web-only tender type, create one. Select New. Enter a description, web, hyphen, only. Enter a code, W-O, no spaces. Select tender type, other. Select your default currency. Enter a display order number. Your display order number will affect where the web-only tender will display in reference to your other tender types on the POS screen. For example, here you can see the highest number is 9. I'll select 10 to make the web-only tender last. Lastly, there is no need to pop the cash drawer. Unselect this checkbox. The next phase of configurations deals with shipping carriers and types and will again be covered in the tutorial for RMS shipping. Select Database, then Shipping Carriers. You undoubtedly have existing carriers listed as they are included with RMS. For this demonstration, we'll create a new, unique shipping type which will automatically be used for free in-store pickup. Select New. Enter the carrier name free. Then, under the Services tab, select Add to create types or services. Enter a service name, in-store pickup. Also, add an arbitrary but high weight with a charge of zero. Later at the web store, you'll see how these two names display as free in-store pickup and a weight range has been added for further configuration. Select OK and OK. A dialog box informing you that you have to Z out the POS is correct, but for our purposes, nothing more is required. The last phase is a configuration for your tax provider integration and again will be covered in the tax providers tutorial. Select database, then items, then new. Create an item with a description internet tax and an item lookup code of TAX no spaces or additional characters. This is important as the tax integration will use this item to add tax to web transactions. Ensure that this is a non-inventory item and that no tax is applied to this item or it will effectively be taxing the tax. Select OK. Then create another item to handle potential shipping tax. Create an item with a description shipping tax and an item lookup code shipping no spaces or additional characters. Ensure that this is a non-inventory item and that no tax is applied to this item. Select OK. 
Once you've completed your RMS configurations, run Sync. HQ users run the appropriate worksheets to the processing store, confirming that the store has received each of the changes. Then run NSC Client Sync. This completes the RMS configurations tutorial. For further assistance, see the NitroCell Partner Portal or contact support through the ticket system. Thank you for watching NitroCell Integrated E-Commerce, helping you succeed online.